Side this morning, protecting your finances. A massive data breach just hit Capital One, impacting nearly 100 million people. This comes as more Americans are discovering that they were hacked in the massive Equifax data breach. So our focus this morning, how do you protect yourself and your money when signing up for all these online banking systems? Now on your side's Lana Harris in our information center, monitoring what you can do on your side right now. Hello, Lana. Hey, good morning. And if you were impacted by this Capital One hack, the company says that you have been notified. So check your email, check your mail, make sure you look out for that information. Now, this hack was reportedly the work of a 33 year old woman, a former software engineer who took advantage of a misconfigured security feature, stole 106 million people's information and bragged about it online. That's how she was caught. Now all of those people across the US and Canada are at a security risk. If you've applied for a credit card with Capital One between 2005 and 2019, your information could have been stolen. The victims include 100 million Americans and 6 million Canadians. Most of the stolen information includes applicants' names, addresses, phone numbers, emails, date of birth, and reported income. But for 140,000 customers, the stolen information also includes social security numbers. For 80,000, bank account numbers linked to credit cards have also been compromised. A misconfigured firewall is how 33-year-old Paige Thompson reportedly hacked in, then spoke about the theft on the sharing site GitHub. Another user reported her and she was arrested by the FBI. Now, if your information was breached, it's recommended that you immediately freeze your credit reports at three major firms, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. This will prevent lenders from getting access to your credit report or hackers from opening an account in your name. You should also check your credit card statements for fraudulent charges. Now, Capital One assures that no credit card account numbers or login information was compromised, but they are offering free credit monitoring and identity protection to everyone who has been affected. Here in the Information Center, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News, on your side.